Hey, good morning. I have a few items of interest I believe that you will find astonishing, but not surprising because Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and King, is warning us about what is to come and also about what is taking place over the past several years that lead us to this point in which we are at. So with that being said, I want to uh, preface this conversation that anybody listening to these messages, you must go before Jesus Christ on your own behalf, and you must study Scripture and even challenge and study the things in which I say because I'm not trying to get you to agree with me about anything. I want to present what I feel the Lord is placing in my heart to share. And in sharing that, as the body of Christ, we are one body with many parts. And there are many within these last days followers of Jesus Christ that have been getting signs, have been getting dreams and visions because Jesus is speaking to us. The Holy Spirit that lives with inside of us is speaking to us about these last days. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so I want to share this with you, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and begin. So as we know, on uh, March 25th, it's a full moon, but it's also a blood moon, and it's also Purim. And it's also the what used to be the first day of our year, but it got changed in um, 1752 to January 1st. It used to be on March 25th, of all things. And it was around the timing of the spring. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of share with you what I feel that the Lord... But I was actually looking up something else when I kind of... When this began to unravel and be presented to me. So, on March 25th, it'll be a penumbral blood moon. And it's a full moon. The definition is a shroud or a partial shadowing surrounding a perfect shadow. Also mean, uh, also means almost, like as an almost here. So the maximum of the blood moon will occur at 3.12 a.m. EDT and 3.12 in the Hebrew is hinder another man following next a stranger. Another man following next a stranger. In the Greek 3.12 is an announcement in detail, declare, report, show, speak, and tell. So further meaning into this is rehearsal. From the root meaning uh, 303 Greek, which means up, instantly. Reversal, each, every man. From the root meaning of that to the Greek 32, a messenger, an angel, an announcement, Further meaning is archangel. And this will take place at 712 uh, Greenwich Mean Time, GMT. In the Hebrew, <clears throat> in the Hebrew 712 is a coffer being suspended, a treasure being lifted. And the root meaning comes from the Greek 7264 in the Hebrew, which means violent anger, violent fear, to be afraid, to stand in awe, to provoke rage, to shake, to tremble, to quake, and to prov provoke to wrath. It even means a commotion, a restlessness of horses, a crash of thunder. So there are many meanings that the Lord is trying to share with us, trying to show us and trying to warn us about what is to take place to provoke us to study and to seek him out. 
So in the Greek 712, it is called, it is the best meal, a dinner, a supper. Now, could this be meaning the marriage supper of the Lamb? Time will tell, my friends. And this is from the Greek 730, a strong man lifting. Uh, for the From the root meaning of the Greek 704, a male lamb. Further meaning is manliness, valor, excellence. Praise and virtue. And this comes from the Greek 142, to lift up, to take away, to rise, to atone for sin, to lift up, to remove, to take away, to take up. So uh, the duration of this is four hours and 39 minutes long. And in the Hebrew, 439 is actually an oak weeping, like a weeping oak tree. A monumental tree mourning, lamentation, tears to weep. In the Greek, 439 is a bed of burning coals, coals of fire. So I must ask, is Jesus warning us? Are, th are these the last of the warnings to repent, to repentance? Is he describing the coming judgment? So... In my first rapture dream, I was shown a mighty oak tree being uprooted and thrown thrown aside. I had a sense that this actually symbolized the United States of America. I was shown in a separate dream fire or asteroids or fallen angels striking the earth. So I was going to end it right here, but uh, the reason why I started this study was to look into the uh, March 25th, 2024, which is the blood moon, <clears throat> which is called a, a full penumbra blood moon from the days when uh, the days of Noah started. And the days of Noah, I believe, started on June 13th, 2013. And you can go back through my videos and discover why I say this. Why the days of Noah why did the flood came? The flood came because the human race, the human gene pool was tainted and there was only eight people that were not infected. And on June 13th of 2013, the Supreme Court ruled that uh, through the Senate Bill 12-398, <clears throat> uh, that human DNA that has been altered that has been changed, can be patented, is patentable. And the one who holds a patent holds the rights to that DNA. Do you hear me, people? So from June 13th, 2013 to March 25th, 2024, uh, which is Purim, is 3,939 days. In the Hebrew, 3,939 means wormwood. So in Revelation 8, 10, and 11... The third angel blew his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven on fire, blazing like a torch. The name of the star is Wormwood. It also means a curse or a poison. And in the Greek, it's calamity. And in the Greek 3939 actually is reside as a foreigner, a sojourner, to be a stranger. And we know that we are sojourners. We are strangers here on this earth. So Jesus Christ is giving a, a, a double, you know, he's giving a double meaning. Like, listen, destruction's coming and the sojourners are going to be taken. So I'm going to get into that here in a second. <clears throat> and this is from the Greek. Uh, okay. Yeah. And this is from the Greek as a deeper meaning, uh, 3044, which means near, in sight, nigh, onto, it also means, in the deeper meaning, to violate a command, a transgression. And further meaning is to, uh, to transmit, a me transmit a message. Is, has Jesus Christ been trying to transmit a message? Has he been trying to warn and tell people of the times and the seasons and the events that are to come? Let's see. To occupy an hour. To occupy a house. To dwell. 
It also means, in a deeper meaning, the Roman Empire, the earth, the world. And so this is actually from uh, the meaning, the Greek meaning of family, a house, or a temple. And so this was 129 months between these two dates. In the Greek, 129 actually means atoning blood of Jesus Christ. Is that awesome or what? Yes, the atoning blood of Jesus Christ will rescue us. <clears throat> so it was also 562 weeks. In the Hebrew, 562 is a promise. In the Greek, 562 is endless, never-ending. And the deeper meaning is from the Greek uh, 4,000, uh, so 4,008, 4,008, to pierce through, to pierce through. So uh, I was actually going to leave it at that, but I decided, okay, let's see um, what this meaning is from the days of Lot. Now... If you go back to my videos, I describe what the days of Lot are and why the days of Lot came and what the days of Lot, you know, what took place and what happened. I believe the days of Lot start on June 26, 2015, and you can go back and, and, and see what that event took place. That event took place, and, they, uh, and then our leader lit up the White House in colors, lit up the Empire State Building in colors, and uh, legalized an unholy unnatural abomination of a union and destroying what the Father put in place, destroying the covenant that, father, that the Father in heaven had between a man and a woman, a man born a man and a woman born a woman in holy marriage. That was, that was eradicated in this country. Now it's an abomination. So on June 26, 2015, this took place. And so from that date to March 25th of 2024 is 3,196 days. 3,196 in the Hebrew is intoxication, wine. This is hearkened to Revelation 18, 2 and 3. Fallen, fallen is Babylon the Great. She has become a dwelling place for demons. For all the nations have drunk the wine of her sexual immorality. Pay her back a double portion for her deeds. All of her plagues will come in a single day. She will be burned up with fire. And this was, uh, and this is, this all took place uh, eight years and nine months ago. So eight, nine to so 89 means a flame of fire. This is reiterated over and over again. And the Greek 89 is without ceasing. And there's a whole side study I did about the eagle in flight warning. And the eagle in flight comes when the woman is, when the man child is born. You can look this up in Revelation, uh, in the book of Revelation. The woman uh, gives birth to a man child, and the man child is caught up. And the woman is taken into the wilderness by the wings of an eagle. And at the fourth seal, the living creature has the wings of an eagle in flight. So you can kind of see the timing in where we are at and how everything is about to take place. So uh, this was 456 weeks. And in the Greek, 456 means to build again. And uh, this is hearkened to Revelation 21, 1 through 8. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the old earth and old heaven had passed away i saw the holy city the new jerusalem coming down like a bride adorned for her husband 
a voice from the throne said, The dwelling place of God is with man, and I will make all things new. Listen, I barely scratched the surface on this. Um, and I challenge you to do research for yourself. And like I said, I, I barely even touched on this. I didn't even, I actually just meant for this to be a very quick uh, explanation about what's going on. But this goes deep, my friend. There's something that whatever is going to take place on March 25th is symbolizing something. It is, it is a warning. I fully believe this. And as we know that a blood moon is an omen, a warning for the Jewish people, the nation of Israel, but also we must remember something that the largest population of Jewish people in the world is the United States of America. The United States of America is Mystery Babylon. And we do know that shortly thereafter, this blood moon coming up, that they're going to be, there's going to be a total solar eclipse on the next new moon. And I've gone over what most followers in Jesus Christ believe that there's a an indication that the good man is going to return on either a full moon or a, or a new moon. And I've gone over this in my past videos. But we must remember something. I, I don't feel, especially in these this day and hour in which we live, that we should take anything lightly. That these warnings are meant for us for a reason. And that is to warn others, to tell of what is to come. Now, obviously, I do not have any definitive answers of when Jesus Christ is going to appear to remove those who are following him, those who are waiting for him, those who love him. But I do know this. If you are following him, if you are waiting for him, if you love him, if you're anticipating his arrival and you're deeply in love with him and you've set aside this world and you've, and you've surrendered your sins to him and you've repented about anything you've done, even if you took the abomination. And if, if you haven't repented, repent for doing that because he will all, make all things new during this age of grace before the restrainer is removed. But you must repent. We must live for Jesus Christ. And so can this be just the biggest coincidence in human history? Unlikely. However, it is very evident that we are in the last days, the final hours of the human race because Scripture tells us that we are. I don't know how much longer we have. Is it a few days? Is it a few, is it a few weeks? Is it a few months? I, I cannot tell you. All I know is we are close. We are at the doorstep. And Jesus Christ has the door open for those who want to enter in. But you must make that choice because this is your choice to enter in. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. There's so much more I want to say, but... At this point, it is either a hardness of heart keeping you from Jesus Christ or it is absolute rebellion because there's many that believe that they're fine and they're not fine. And I just went over this in my past couple videos about the lukewarm. So please go back and take a look at that. It's hard to say what's going to happen, but these are warnings, and these have been warnings since the creation of mankind, since the creation of the earth. Jesus Christ put these things in the heavens for signs, for seasons, and for feast days, and essentially to tell his timing on everything. It is up, for, it is up to us to, to seek these things out. So I want to challenge you that. And just like I said before, the body of Christ, it, it is one body with many parts. You know, I focus on one kind of certain area and other, others focus uh, heavily into these signs. And I challenge you to go and take a look at brothers and sisters in Christ that focus on this. And there's others that focus on the warning dreams that the Lord is bringing and others that focus on 
earthquake patterns and weather patterns and and uh, you know what's going on with the sun and you know collectively if we do this and if it aligns with scripture we must understand that this is a warning for what is about to take place and what is about to come so I want to encourage you have faith stand firm do not let anybody steal your crown put on the whole armor of God each and every day and have the confidence that when that sound of the trumpet takes place, that you'll be taken into the kingdom and be with your Savior because that's exactly what Scripture says will happen. And Jesus Christ even said himself, I'm coming soon. Hold fast. So my friends, I send this message with love and with grace and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I hope you hear this message. Have a blessed day, my friends. I will see you at the wedding feast. I love you. Bye-bye.